Yeah, so because it, it seems that, that there are people who still think that using reference is um, cheating, you know, and, and I think that that's, that's such a ridiculous thing. Um, that, that That's such a ri ridiculous thing to kind of, you know, um, it's it, even uh, think about, oh, lurk, lurk away, Keevan, lurk away. Um, you know, but, but the thing is, though, is, is that, um, you know, like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with using reference. And like me personally, there, there's especially nothing wrong with being literal with the, with the reference. Um, but like I said, it's like I run more on vibes <laughs> than, like I said, than accuracy. So, um, so that's kind of like what's happening here. Like, I just, you know, like I'm just like kind of like getting enough information uh from this piece uh just to you know just so like okay you know it's like i'm not being completely off base uh, but but here's the thing here's the secret though Here, here's the secret i want to show everybody a secret right so what you can do if you know if you're not sure about how something is uh, supposed to kind of look you can actually trace photos and, and it's like really okay to do that so like you know just to kind of like show you um so like what I would do, you know, like what I would do if like, if I wanted to like, kind of like get a sense of the shape of, um, of a certain thing that I'm trying to figure out, um, hold on, let me, let me put some white background here. Uh, okay, there we go. So what I would, would pretty much do is I would like take a photo, right? like like something like this and then you know and then kind of like oh where's my pencil oh right why <laughs> okay and then um you know and then just kind of like get a sense of what the shapes are you know like i said it's like you don't have to be literal with it you know it's like it's like yeah are you tracing yes you are um but the the thing is what you're doing is you're blocking out the shapes to give you a sense of what it is you're looking at um you know to give you like a like if you like if you know if you kind of it's like you know if you kind of like know under like understand what the shapes look like right that make up a piece it actually makes it easier for you to figure out how to draw it from memory so you know so what you're doing is you're creating that muscle memory it's like okay so i know that this photo um that that this photo it you know like the, the shapes the, the shapes are this you know, you literally just reduced this photo to these shapes, which then will make it easier for you to, to translate those shapes into, oh, hey, Gothic little, little angel. Hello. Hello. You know, so that you can translate those shapes into whatever it is that you want. Um, so... So, yeah, so it's like, so when, when people say, it's like, oh, what do you think of tracing? And I go, well, tracing is actually a really good exercise. Um, you know, I do it with buildings. I do it with people. I, you know, it's like, look, I really just, just right here, you know, I, you know, it's like, I did it with this, this ferret so that I kind of get a sense of, of the shapes that I need to make this ferret. But as you can see, <laughs> when we go back to the actual drawing that I'm working on, I'm I'm not being accurate by any sense stretch of the imagination. Um, I'm what I'm what I'm kind of looking for is it, this is you know in the end this is like a fantasy version of a uh, of a ferret. Um, so you know I I want it. 
you know, so I don't want it to be accurate. I mean, if that, if that makes any sense, um, you know, it's like, I just see, I, I just see like the discourse online as to, um, as to what it means to, 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 to copy, to trace, to, to use reference. What does it mean? What is it are you actually doing? And I think that too many people throw out the baby with the bathwater. Um, you know, like is certain types of, of uh, tracing uh, not good? It's like, yes, there are certain, like if I were to take somebody else's artwork and trace it exact and then just change it, like some minor details and say, oh, now this is my character, that's kind of shady. You know, but if I like, if the, but there is a piece that I like the pose in, you know, it's like, oh, I like, I, I have this piece, but I really like the poses. I mean, then I'll take the poses. And even then I'm not, I'm not doing a direct translation of that pose. It's still going to be, um, it's still going to be a piece that I did. Um, oh, I should have, uh, I, I should have, um saved it uh there for for my other campaign so at least i mean saved it so that i could show it um there is uh a campaign you know my campaign coming up uh eager raven the unicorn king's daughter which is at the end of september that that's being launched the book the the short stories they're parodies of conan comics so part of the parody part you know so part of the parody of the book is that the cover and a lot of the pages on the inside are pretty much referenced from actual panels from the original conan comics so technically they are supposed to be recognized like that's part of the the joke um, if you're familiar with those books, you are supposed to be able to recognize them. There's like, oh, I remember this panel and that panel and, and whatnot. Um, and, uh, you know, and it's like, yeah, but the thing is, though, is that it, the whole thing is still done in my style. Like, you are not going to confuse any of my pages for John Basima's work. Um, so, but, you know, but I, I lifted his poses and his layouts because that was part of the parody of the, the story that I was telling. Um... You know, but also it's like, like I said, it's like I'm I'm more big on finding really interesting poses, um, and if I see, uh, you know, yeah, and, and if I see um, um, something interesting, it, it's like you know, like I'll take the poses. I mean, I just bought um, some more books from Japan. Uh, every time I make the tiniest amount of money, it's like, I, I shouldn't be doing it, but no, no, I, I chose these very specific books. Um, I'm waiting for them to, uh, to come in and, um, I bought these art books from Japan and, you know, and, and the thing is though, they're created specifically for you to trace. That's the funny thing about these books. Um, for you know, like you have all these people say, like, oh, tracing's bad and this, that, and the other thing. And that's exactly what they do. It's it's their it's their how to draw manga book. That's literally what they're called. How to draw this, how to draw, but it's, but it's all related to manga. And everything comes on, like one of them that I bought was like 500 couples poses. But like couples and, you know, say, you know, like both, you know, like all types of couples and, um, you know, friends and otherwise, you know, and, um, and they have a CD-ROM that, uh, and you're supposed to pretty much bring these assets into Clip Studio Paint and 
trace over them pretty much. Um, you know, so I found that funny, you know, that it's like, look, um, even Japanese mangaka are are doing this, you know, so it's like, so you shouldn't, you know, worry um, too much. Um, if you feel that you need you you need to trace a pose or something in order to kind of get it right. Um, so you know, so yeah, so i'll I'll show off those books when um when when they come in. Uh, they're supposed to come in um. August. I know one of them I'm supposed to get at the end of the month, and the other one I'm supposed to get in August. Um, you know, I, I try to wait until I, I can buy like a bunch of uh, a bunch of the books at once because shipping is so expensive um, from Japan. Yeah. Also, it's like, uh, yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm still having issues with, uh, I thought that maybe it was a Photoshop problem. Um, I was having the latest update of Adobe. I had to kind of, I had to take off my computer and, and, uh, downgrade it because I was getting like, I, I was getting like a lot of glitches. Um, and one of them is like my my Cintiq screen kind of being weird. Um, and I thought maybe it was related to, uh, yeah, to uh, Photoshop, but it turns out that it's not. Um, turns out, I guess the screen is just really sensitive for some reason, so I can't get it to work correctly. Um, so I have to, uh, so I have to shut it back off again from uh, my device manager after I'm done here. So now it shouldn't. Uh... Oh, okay. So there we go. I think that's uh, that's that's kind of right. Okay. Yeah. And I have to put like like kind of tin foil sticking out from underneath the hat. Uh... Yeah, so for those of you who are just joining us, so the the drawing is is a ferret and Oswald the mouse, and the ferret is putting a hat on because he is an escapee from a laboratory, and he has something implanted in his brain that allows the scientists to track him. So he's he's putting a hat with tin foil stuffed inside. Um, to uh, to kind of like block try to block the, the the radio waves or whatever um is is in his head so um yeah so that's uh so that's that's what he's uh, so that's what he's doing um, actually let's see actually also, another reason why it's always good to use reference, because you would be surprised how many common things that you see every day, but when you have to draw it from memory, you're like going, what does that look like again? <laughs> you know, like, I'm trying to draw a freaking hat here, and I'm like, wait, wait a minute. It's like, uh, I'm trying to literally remember what a hat looks like. Um, you know, th this is, uh, yeah. It's like, what does a chair look like? You know, those, those types of things. Oh, I don't.
Okay, at least the hat looks like a hat now. <laughs> kind of, sort of. I know that this back part is probably not correct. Um, okay. Let's see, what is, uh, do they have? Oh, okay. So the arms are okay. So, all right. So, we'll just for interest's sake, we'll we'll make the ears. And then it's like, okay. So according to this, his his little hands have to be dark too. So I want to make sure I get those markings correct when I ink this in. Okay, there, there we go. All right, so it, it's coming together. It's coming together. Oh, actually, their entire arms, it's kind of like, it's like they're wearing a shirt. Okay, so, although the thing is, though, he kind of, like, goes from, okay, this is probably something that, right, he kind of goes from black to, like, a brown, so... Probably what I'll do is I'll just leave. Like if I were to color it in, I oh, ah. Um, if I were to color it in, um, I would probably just I would do this that really really dark brown and then do a lighter brown here. Um, so I'm not going to. So all I'm going to do is just like I'm not going to darken it with ink. Um, because these pieces, they're, they're going to stay in black and white. So, um, so yeah, so this, these are essentially going to be black and then I'm going to mark off the, the other, um, the other markings, but how, how are their legs though? Oh, same thing. So they're kind of like they're wearing socks. Okay. So this has to be. So this is going to be inked in as well. Okay. Okay. And then, of course, the, the tip of their tail. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I want. That's what I want. Right, so, okay, so let me, let me do this. Oh, 